Winner takes all. In this case, honor, prestige, recognition, and of course, the much coveted gold medal. Regardless of the type or title of a competition, any and all athletes have their eyes on the gold. No, it's not the valuable yellow metal used to make sparkly jewelry. It's but a circular piece, at least 60 millimeters in diameter and 3 millimeters thick, in which athletes pour their sweat and blood just to get their hands on. The gold, and everything that comes with it, is what every athlete aspires to possess at least once in their careers. Who wouldn't, right? That's exactly what Dutch track and field athlete Femke Boll set her heart into having. And she has her years of training and miles ran to prove just how much she's dedicated to her craft. Boll specializes in the 400-meter hurdles and 400-meter sprint. She's the 2020 Tokyo Olympics bronze medalist in the 400-meter hurdles with the current European record of 52.03 seconds, becoming the third fastest woman of all time and the first Dutch Olympic medalist at the event. And when I say she's fast, well, she's fast. And not the you're it if I catch you in a game of tag kind of way, but the I'll trample you if you get in my way. <laughs> That's how fast she is. In addition, Bull is a two times Diamond League final winner, two times World Championship silver medalist, and two times World Indoor Championship silver medalist. Although Bull has received significant placing in various competitions, she is yet to beat Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone. An American hurdler and sprinter who competes in the 400 meter hurdles, McLaughlin Lavrone is the 2020 Tokyo Olympic champion with the game's record and the 2022 world champion with a world record time of 50.68 seconds. However, Femke Bull's performances in her recent competitions are making many think that she's closing in on Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone's stranglehold on the women's 400 meter hurdles. Some sports fans are even trying to guess if it's possible for Femke Bolt to defeat Sydney this season. Will this be another Selena Gomez Kylie Jenner drama, with Gomez surpassing Jenner's number of IG followers? Will we see Femke beat Sydney's record before the year ends? For now, Bull is poised to achieve greatness. This started around July last year, when Bull moved yet another step upward on the global podium in Eugene as she added world silver to her Olympic bronze in the women's 400 meter hurdles. The top step, however, is still occupied by her 22 year old American contemporary, Sydney McLaughlin. At the time, many were convinced that McLaughlin's place was but a lofty position for Bull to attain. Although Bull is certainly not a newbie in the track, she has been in the shadow of McLaughlin Lavrone in previous seasons. At the time, Bull, who ran a European record of 52.03 to finish third in Tokyo, equaled her season's best of 52.27 at Hayward Field. However, although she placed second to McLaughlin, she might as well have been in a different race altogether, as the Olympic champion, who had improved her record to 51.41 at the previous month's US Championships, earned her first world gold as the first woman to break 51 seconds, clocking a mind-boggling 50.68. How fast is that? I can't run that fast even to save my life. Bull commented afterward, It was crazy. She said that McLaughlin was so far in front at the end, so I was always doubting if I really had a good race because it felt very good. She added that it meant a lot that McLaughlin broke the 51 second barrier. It's unbelievable, but it's amazing to be a part of it and to come out second in such a race. Watching a once in a generation athlete, and it is a new world record. However, things have taken a turn since then. It's as if the wind is now moving in favor of Bull. Well, at least arguably. No one knows for sure for now, but you may start placing your bets for the racehorses, pun intended. At this point, though, many are inclined to place their bets on Bull, especially after she broke the longest standing world record in a track race around mid February of this year, taking down a 41 year old record in the women's indoor 400 meter. What happened? Bull ran 49.26 seconds at the Dutch Indoor Championships in Apeldoorn. With that, she broke Czech Jarmila Kratochvilova's world record of 49.59 from March 1982. That was the longest standing world record in any track race that's on the Olympic or World Indoor or Outdoor Championships program. When I crossed the line, I knew that the record was mine because of the noise that the crowd made, Bull said, according to the World Athletics. Do you know how special this win was? Just a few days before the said competition, Bull was at the World Athletics Indoor Tour Gold Meeting in Leiden after running the indoor 400 meter in less than 50 seconds, clocking 49.96 in Mets to go fourth on the all-time list. At the time, Bull was expecting to run even faster. However, after winning by more than a second in 50.20, she said, This is a good race I can be happy with. 
I hope to run a 49 second race again. But this is the real world, not the dream world. Oh, how nice would it be to live in a dream world. But then that dream was realized at the aforementioned competition where she has successfully beaten the oldest track world record on the books. Even Bull was astounded after the race. I think that's one of the best feelings in the world. Imagine winning a race that you broke not only your own personal record, which already is such a feat for most athletes, but also the longest standing record for that game. Amazing. Insane. Femke Bol is insane, and we mean that in a good way. In fact, Bol's very own coach, Coach Laurent Mavli, was very much pleasantly surprised with this exemplary feat. Bol told the people from the media industry that she was hoping for a 49.5, but got a 49.26 instead. I really have no words for this. It's my first world record at real distance, said the athlete. Could it be even faster? This was almost a perfect race, she added. Well, don't ask us. Nobody can run as fast as you guys, so we wouldn't know. Bull also shared that she was, of course, hoping to run the record, but was actually prepared in case it doesn't come to fruition. In life, you hope for a lot of things, and most of the time, it does not happen. I'm glad that I didn't just get the record, but I improved it by a big margin, said Bull. As Bull explained after her own indoor 400 meter world record run, it's still an extra, a bonus number, since it was never on my list of goals. It's just a result of hard work for the summer. She further shared that she became stronger this year, which is why she is a lot faster. Well, it appears that her definition of fast and faster are worlds apart from our definitions of the terms. Anyhow, Bull is the third fastest woman in history in her primary event, the 400 meter hurdles, behind American Cindy McLaughlin Lavrone and Delilah Muhammad. At last year's Worlds, she took the silver in a race won by McLaughlin Lavrone in a world record time. Bull was 1.59 seconds behind. That said, it appears that defeating McLaughlin Lavrone won't be as easy of a feat for Bull. Well, there's never been an easy feat in life, even more so in competitions like this one. Still, Femke Bulls, along with Britton Wilsons, another American track and field athlete specializing in the 400 meters hurdles and 400 meters, heroics this indoor season have injected at least a modest degree of intrigue back into an event that was presumed to belong to McLaughlin Lavrone for as long as she cared to run it. But how does one even try to beat an almost legend like Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone? The American athlete has even gone on to lower the world record twice in the span of one calendar year. So what does one have to do to defeat her, aside from hoping against hope that she trips? Well, even that is only a 1 in 100 chance of happening. Still, one can preserve and attempt to dethrone the exceptional athlete in the person of Sydney. That is exactly what Bull aims to do. In fact, in preparation for the World Athletics Championships in Budapest, Bull not only got stronger and swifter, but she's also making potentially critical changes to her hurdling technique. I want to do one less step between the hurdles, to do 14 strides, so this means I need bigger strides and I have to alter with my legs between left and right, Bull shared. Walking alternately with my left and right feet without stumbling is already a struggle, so I can't help but be amazed at how these girls run hurdles in record time. At least Bull was kind enough to share what her routine was like. So we first just worked on getting this stride length without hurdles, running and then working on my technique with my other leg. And then at that point, we we're building up to do 14 steps. I've done a few so far and I made it, so I'm really happy, Bull said. Sydney does 14 strides until hurdle 7, others do the first 5 hurdles. Well, her hard work appears to have paid off, as her latest victory in the women's 400 meter at the European Indoor Championships in Istanbul further accentuates the level she is at at the moment. Less than two weeks after she broke the world indoor record with 49.26 seconds, Bol acquired her sixth European title with a 49.85 second victory in the women's 400 meter. Coming to Istanbul with a world record, I could feel that everybody wanted me to go even faster and expected that I could, said Bol. Unfortunately, it's harder than it might look. I have multiple European titles, but the world title is still missing. The world record is step one. If and when Bull one day defeats Sydney on the track, it'll be totally insane. Bull, unlike Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone, who has raced just once this year over the 60 meters, already has quite a number of races finished this year. Bull had run the 200 meters, 400 meters, and 500 meters indoor this year, breaking records in at least two. The World Championship's silver medalist set the 500 meter indoor world record at the New Balance Indoor Grand Prix with her time of 1 minute 05.63. It was her statement after the win which kind of explains why she's pushing hard at these distances indoors. I think it's really for my 400 meter hurdles, Bull said. You need a strong last part and I'm working on getting the 40s right. So that's for the first part. 
so it's good to keep the last 100 meters also in the back of my head to be strong. Come to think about it, the back of her head should really be strong, literally, as one trip with that speed. Well, I don't want to think about what could possibly happen. Going back, since most of the attention was directed at McLaughlin the Vrone when she went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Bowl at the Olympics last year, many have overlooked the fact that the Dutch athlete had broken the 51-second barrier for the first time. This shows that although McLaughlin the Vrone was in a class of her own that day, Bowl had fast times brewing on the largest stages, and Bowl can just as easily, or at least if she prepared hard enough, steal Sydney's thunder, so to speak, and make her eat dust, pun intended. In light of that, so far in this season, Femke Bowl proved that she has significantly upped her game. Still, the question remains, would Bowl switch to the 400 meter outdoors, or will she challenge Sydney McLaughlin Levron in the 400 meter hurdle one more time? There's an increasing chance that both could give her the much coveted gold as a world champion. She has obliterated it. She can't believe that time. I can't believe that time. If that's correct, 36.88, she has taken 